thanks for chairman, thanks for uh, conference organizer uh, giving me a chance to share my work with the uh, audience. Um, my name is uh, Shirley Liu, uh, I'm a director of uh, R&D of Dongjiang Environmental Company Limited. I like to uh, spend a couple of uh, words for our company. Uh, Dongjiang Environmental is a public company. It's a traded in Shenzhen uh, Stock Exchange and Hong Kong Exchange. Right now, our employees are uh, about 2,500 and with the uh, annual revenue of uh, 2 billion Chinese. Uh, our major business is uh, solid waste management, focus on the industrial and hazardous waste. We have a landfill uh, operation and uh, incinerator for hazardous waste and uh, municipal waste and we operate uh, several major landfills for Shenzhen city uh, and also uh, with uh, natural gas power generation facilities. Okay, uh, right now we uh, talk about the project we're going to uh, share with uh, us. Uh, before talk about the project, uh, I'd like to introduce some background of our projects. Uh, our project is deal with the Shenzhen River. Uh, Shenzhen River is the uh, only very short river. It's bordering between Hong Kong and the Shenzhen city. It's about 13 kilometers. In the map, I uh, give a little bit uh, detail of uh, where they are. It's just uh, between Hong Kong and the Shenzhen water. If everyone across border from uh, China to Hong Kong, a lot of times must be cross that river. The problem of that river is uh, because uh, it's very uh, dense uh, populated area. Uh, there's uh, and also industrial uh, development area and uh, urban development the activity uh, caused some uh, pollutions. Another thing is uh, the sediment accumulation. Once a while, it to be dredged. And another problem was, is the offensive order will be generated when uh, the sediment was exposed uh, on the air on the low tide uh, time, low time period. For deal with this problem, Hong Kong government and the Shenzhen government have formed a co collaboration team to uh, develop the remediation plan. The major activity to deal with the odor problem and the pollution problem is using kerosene nitrate injection to change the condition of the sediment from uh, anaerobic to aerobic conditions. Another thing is uh, to do some necessary dredging. Our project is will deal with the dredging uh, uh, to, <coughs> to follow the dredging. Uh, when the sediment is dredged out, uh, there must be some contamination. How we uh, deal with these problems? In the pilot studies, we were looking for some solutions. One is the soil washing, try to wash out some of the contaminations. Another thing is a very popular thing, is the solidification and the stabilization. And another thing is want to utilize the sediment to make use of it. Our pilot study only deal with the stabilization and the solidification part. So our pilot study is uh, 
uh, we, through the public bidding, uh, select our company to do this project, try to get uh, uh, enough data to make a decision for the engineer design and the government uh, final decision how to deal with this problem. And another thing is to validate the certificate, the certification and the stabilization agent developed by Dongjiang Environment is okay for this uh, project. Uh, this is uh, considered a contract research work, so have a very defined goal and a very detailed requirement. I just list some major points. Why is uh, this uh, study uh, require the minimum scale? It's 35 liter of seven, and uh, also the treatment goal. Try to evaluate is uh, use a TCLP. The, uh, the TCLP's value have to meet Hong Kong and China, both regulations. Another thing uh, about additional requirements is for 90% in mobilizations for several metals. I will explain a little bit more later. And also for the solidified sediment with some uh, unconfined strengths larger than one megapar. By the, by the quality control, it requires four replicates of the same dosage samples to run to evaluate reproducibility of the experiments and also require a 70% of the optimized dosage as an alternative dosage to evaluate economic and feasibility. Also require to estimate noise, air emission, waste water, and the solid waste discharge for the engineer design. And also for the beneficial utilization for the sediment and also for preliminary design for the treatment plan for 500 cubic meter per day. Uh, this requirement will have a, when we get this project, we think there is something is challenging issues. The major issues is the sediment integrity during the experiment how to represent the real situation because if you take sediment after a few days or preserve in the cold uh, in the cold condition how that will be affect the feasibility and the chemical situation of the original sediment if you experiment on this kind of uh, preserved sediment that is that represent the real situation is the engineer parameter will be represent the real engineer uh, project that's one of the issues we are thinking about and another thing is how to find 70 percent of the optimized dosage with the, at the same time if you find the, the best condition for the uh, dosage then you do the 70% you work out the different sediment then the data representativity will have a question and the data quality will provide some uncertainty just like Barry said today if you not do very good quality work at the beginning, you will get rubbish out. That's we make sure our work is 
and a very good experiment design and a very good quality control. So we consider this is the major issue to affect our result. That is our design. Uh, we instead we do for replicate dosage to do the solidificate experiments we change to the different dosage because they ask for 70% the best dosage we we use the four dosage is with the 70% ratio we do is the in one time if the result is good, if our experiments is on the right dosage selection range, we could get the right data at the end of the experiments. Instead, we optimize the dosage, then find the 70% dosage. So, we use this uh, design for the experiments. Of course, it will have a risk if you're doing something wrong. If it is not successful, you have to do it again. Uh, we have did, we have done a lot of uh, homework. We reviewed all the uh, literatures, all the case of the different uh, harbors spreading certificate engineering project. We try to find the right data range and we do some uh, little pilot, uh, small scale, try to figure out what is the right range. So eventually we decide our range is between 18% uh, and 62% uh, the range. We think we have, a much, we have a better chance to get right at one time. And the later is we have to decide how the solidified sediment to be cured and what is the physics UCS would be. That will be very important engineer data because how long to reach certain strengths is a very critical effect engineer operation and a very physical uh, very critical also for the plan to be designed because the longer time for cure the long the larger you need it for the plan space that's very this very big factor affect the financial and the economical of this project also in this design we require to monitoring to analyze the whole set of uh, chemical parameters. This is uh, just list out of what chemical parameters we tested for the sediment and the TCLD, the leachate of the uh, sediment. This include uh, heavy metals and some uh, routine parameters also dioxins, organic chlorine pesticide, and organic things, because that was one of our ocean concerned compounds. <laughs> For the leachate, we do more compounds, because the, the leachate method requires all set of uh, parameters. Uh, because this uh, report is still uh, reviewing and uh, hasn't been finalized, I only uh, I didn't uh, authorize or give uh, more detail of the data. This report will be uh, expecting to be public maybe by the end of the year or early next year, both in English and the Chinese. Uh, we are in the uh, in the stage of uh, <coughs> finalizing and reviewing so uh, more details if you're interested
you eventually can see the final report. The chemical test results uh, from a preliminary review in the, for the data we've found most of the contaminant, uh, major contaminant in the sediment are heavy metals. Uh, for organic pollutant is not significant, can be ignored for this study. And also for the concentration of the heavy metal in TCLP, leachate for solidified sediment or met treatment target. This is the graph, two graphs for the two sample, two represents sample from the two sides of the Sengen River. That's the how the U, USB, that's unconfined the strength of the pure the sediments, sediments are. From the this graph, with a that's a show different dosage uh, from a point for the lower dosage to higher dosage. We can see both samples after 21 days can reach one mac parts <coughs> that are required by the contract. And that there's a, some thing we didn't match the treatment target is the, some metal mobility reduced, reducing. Is that the contract required for 90% mobility reduced, but for these four metals were not met. We had we did some uh, make makeup experiments try to find out how and uh, in what additional procedure we can take to meet this requirement was not a very successful by economical point of view or by practical uh, measures, measures we could not reach this uh, requirement. We also do some uh, beneficial utilization of the sediment. We try to use this uh, solidified sediment to as the raw material for non-fired brick. Uh, we work out a, a, one of a formula which can meet one of China's clay brick standards. But the, and also uh, calculate the cost is about 0.5 renminbi per break. That's uh, we I'd like to uh, say some words for our calculations. Our we decide use the 12.6% as our agent dosage for the engineering design and then use the 21 days if they require for one megapart strength. The total cost For the solidification process is about 140 renminbi per cubic meter. This does not include the, the brick making. If you use a, the raw material use a, as a raw material for brick making, it will be cost a little bit more, but you can have some products. 
But when we evaluate this situation, we found that there could be another alternative, much feasible. That is, use this uh, solidified sediment as a construction filling material, like. Uh, uh, for example, for the for the parking lot pavement under material, even we consider for the uh, airport because uh, the airport in Shenzhen is expanding, need a lot of feelings, and also we evaluate the chemical and the TCLP result. I think it will not affect the groundwater, the surface water, if you keep it from uh, large water penetrations. So we think the alternative would be much more effective. Now, that's all for my uh, talk. Thanks for your